Harry Liao is an interior designer with Volvo. We're sitting inside the Volvo EX30, and Harry, you take it from there. There's a lot to talk about in this car. Yeah, exactly. So this car, it's our shot of espresso of Volvo, full of flavor. And then our brief in day one, really important one, is to how do we condense the big car experience to the small one. And then we have done many things to achieve that. I'll give you a couple examples. Thanks to the EV platform, we designed this really open center console area. We designed this, the full panoramic roof. We really work hard with the sections to allow as much as the light to come into the cabin. And then also really importantly, if you look at the, the design theme, it's this wraparound design theme that really extend the visual, the visual width of it to give you the sense of space. Also, um, we move the central driver information to the center. I can come back to, to that one. That also gives you the sense of space as well. So we designed this Volvo really following our Scandinavian principle, form follows function. We have two technical islands with the strong symmetrical graphic gestures towards the center that clamps all the important technical bits. That is the air vents, the center display and then it's really form follow, follows function principles. So throughout the whole interior design, we've been working with a principle, we call it centralization. Centralization is a way we design to reduce complexity, uh, components and weight, and then combine functionalities into fewer components. Couple examples, you see the sound bar sitting in the front of the IP. Yeah, explain that a little bit more. So that's the only speaker in the car, is the sound bar at the top of uh, the instrument panel. Well, it's not the only speaker, but cluster most of the speakers in the front cabin. Oh, oh, so there's speakers in the rear too? So in this Harman Kardon level trim, you have extra subwoofer in the trunk. Mm -hmm. You have full set of uh, speakers in the rear door. But then in the standard high performance speakers, you, you get only in the front cabin. And that opens up door space then, by not putting the speakers in the door. Exactly. Right? So by doing that, we're able to free up door space. You see, you don't find the, the speakers normally in the upper and the lower area. That saves the, the cable and the connectors for this car because the electronic components are the carbon heavy ones. Because of that, we can design the instrument panel as wide as possible to give you the big car feeling as well. And then also you get massive door pockets for your bottles for your iPad, you name it, right? While we are on the door, you notice it's a very clean design. You don't see a window switches there. That also follows our centralization idea, combining functions to the center. So then you have fewer components, but for the same functions. And these are the window switches, right? Exactly. Here. So it's placed in the center. It's, we, it's a good place for both drivers and passengers to have the same reach. Now coming to the center display, which is exactly the same principle we've been working with, the centralization. So screens, these are one of the really carbon heavy components. So this Volvo is the Volvo we've been built so far with the smallest carbon footprint. There's a reason for it. So that covers centralization idea. Also as well, the fully symmetrical design theme. Right? When you design for different markets, you can share more components. You don't need to design for handed parts. So that also bring, it's also designed for sustainability purposes. Okay, we are in, while we are around the center console area, we, well, the day one when we design this, we're really thinking about how people are going to use it. Big item, small items. When you jump into the car, you have this really open big space to drop your bags in, right? Then you leave your phone, in this wireless charging area, you have the lid that you can open. This is designed for small items like your sunglasses, your phone cables, your keys, right? Well, one, one other thing too, it's not black on the bottom. Yeah, exactly. Then you can see the hint of color. This a little bit of creativity. Well, not only that, but I lose things in cars. You know, it's a, if it, you have a black wallet or something like that, yeah. I, I love how you've got the, the sort of gray blue here. It, it's a contrast, so you can easily see things that are in the tray. Yeah, in this room, it's the, the blue color. There are other rooms, which is, has this really pop green color. You see the contrast more, actually. So that's the lower center console. We designed this really smart solution for the cup holders. You choose to have two cups or one cup. 
or no cup. But you know what's my favorite? If you have this together with you, if you drive alone, you can choose just to have one cup and then you can leave your phone there. Oh, I love that. Finally, a place for a phone that you can easily see. Yeah, exactly, right? From an automaker, I mean, there's all kinds of aftermarket things to hold up your phone, but I love having it there like that. And if you decide not to have a cup with you, you have the full storage. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have anything, you close everything and you have the big open space. Exactly. So it's really designed for you to choose and adapt to your needs. Mm -hmm. Here, we also have uh, the center glove box. It's not there anymore. It's been moved to the center. You can find uh, it in, in the car status and then you can open from this button. So we also move it to the center. It's really just a better reach for both drivers and passengers. You don't need to lean awkwardly to do that in many other cars, right? So that's the smart thing about the front cabin. We can talk a little bit about the second Yeah, row. you told me there's something back here you want to show us. So in the second row, you see we, we use a lot of also beautiful color materials. We try to bring to the same level of premiumness in the front row. Um, we designed this really clever phone pocket because people are, have their own smart devices nowadays, right? This pocket, in the, in the, I mean, a long time ago, it's been designed for street maps and atlases, but you don't really want your phones to be rattling around in the big storage. So we designed a small... It's a pocket it's within a pocket, the pocket. And you can, what's good about it is you can see partially the information. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you, let's say, if you get a message or something, you can still know that, right? One really cool feature for the center console, there is a remo removable tray here. Um, if you put um, trashes in here, it's really easy to clean. This graphic here is the strengthening rib when we designed this, this part. We just had extra little bit of fun with the engineers. So it's very Swedish, it's a hidden Easter egg for the customers, especially for the kids, maybe. So you have, it looks like pine trees, and you have a moose. Yeah, it's inspired from our uh, Scandinavian landscape. Right, yeah. now you told me there's three mooses in this car. So there's this one, <laughs> this is two, this is... but there's another one. Let's yeah. leave that for later. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. Because I know there's something really cool here at the rear of the car that you wanted to show me. Exactly. Now let's move to the trunk. The button is integrated into the graphic. We design a super clean trunk, but I think the highlight here is this really fit graphic. This is in line with our big car EX90 strategy because you don't talk leaders to people. This helps. And when you say leaders, you know, in, uh, you know, for an American audience, it would be cubic feet. Cubic feet, but, exactly. But you're saying in, in Europe and other places of the world, they, they say it in liters. What, how much room is back here? And who knows what, yeah. how many liters are? No who many knows about that. how much cubic feet is what? So you've got this that tells you exactly what will fit in there. Yeah, exactly. It's so easy for people to plan ahead. And then we designed this two level of uh, storage. It's maneuvered by one hand. We specifically designed for that. You just grab it, pull it, and slide it forward. Then you have more room. So it's really meant to design for ease of use, more relaxing, enjoyable daily use for this car. Mm -hmm. Now time for the okay. final moves. Yeah, but wait, there's more, exactly. Go yeah. ahead, pop the hood. So in here, we have our, our front designed to store the warning triangles and your cables. And that's where you find the final moose, as well as our little cars. So you added a moose in there. Yeah. It's, it's in scale. Moose are big. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's great. Harry, thanks so much for this walk around on the interior of the car, and, and especially pointing out where the third moose is. Thank you. My pleasure.